Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashwin and you're watching Starstruck. Today, we're going to discuss what telescope you should buy as your first telescope or first beginner level telescope. Now, there are plenty of telescopes out there in the market. And when you go out searching over the internet uh, on, and try and decide which telescope you should buy, it will become a bit confusing uh, for some people. So I'm here to help you make that decision go easy. Right. So right before we get into the details of it, if you're new to the channel, I would request you to please subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell icon if you have any interest in astronomy or astrophotography. All right. So let's get into it. All right, so there are four major things which you need to look at before you actually make your mind of purchasing a telescope. So the first thing is budget. How much do you want to spend on the telescope, on your beginner level telescope? Uh, you know, it can, because the telescopes are pretty much ranging anywhere between $99 to like thousands of dollars, all right? So that, that's what you need to look at considering the budget, how much you want to spend. Second thing is mobility how easy you want your telescope to be so that you can easily pick it up, take it out, set it up and start doing your stargazing session. That's the second thing. Third one is storage. Where are you going to store this telescope? Are you gonna keep it in the closet? Uh, maybe under the, under the bed or in the garage? Where, wherever. So that's something which you need to consider. The last one is the design. There are plenty of, uh, there are basically three broad category categories of telescopes which which I can tell you uh, reflector refractor and the third one is keratodioptric that is compound telescope uh, expensive and very professional in nature uh, so that's not what we're gonna get, get into we're gonna talk about the beginner level telescope so we are only discussing uh, reflectors and the refractors what is available in the market for the first time buyers all right so let's get into the system have a look at it and see what can we find All right, uh, we're gonna look into the system. Uh, let's look at the computer and jump onto the internet. Let me begin the recording on the screen. Now, if you're looking at my screen, I've got a couple of options available for you. Plenty of them to be honest. <laughs> so in the reflector design, the one which I've picked up for myself is uh, a StarSense Explorer. LT114AZ that's an alt azimuth mount very easy to use the one which you see uh, behind me that is a Celestron 114EQ mount that's an equatorial mount so the only difference between that one and this one is this one it's, it costed me around $158 uh, like a year back uh, to be honest it is uh, a equatorial mount design it does not come with this option of uh, you know the phone attachment and uh, the Starsense application. So Celestron has uh, come way far from this one to the to, to the one which you're looking at the screen right now. So I would recommend to go for this one. Uh, this the design is a reflector design, which means there are mirrors in it. So there are two mirrors. This is a primary mirror at the back of the telescope, and there is a secondary mirror over here which is fitted at a 45 degree angle so that it bounces the light off the eyepiece so this is what the design looks like uh, it's pretty uh, it's not that uh, expensive i can tell you uh, it's how much is that how much is that 399 dollars 399 400 dollars you're getting a good reflector 114 mm uh, uh, you know size of the aperture of the primary mirror it's 1000 mm of focal length which is way enough for you to look at the rings of the Saturn Jupiter and its uh, four moons and some of the star clusters Orion Nebula as well it comes with an application which allows you to use your mobile phone to look at the stars and the phone and the app will then decide which 
part of the sky your telescope is pointing towards and you can then select the, uh, the object which you want to look at and then it will just guide you through where you want to be pointed where you should be pointed at so this is one of the best option uh, in a Newtonian reflector design uh, I would recommend I would definitely go if I, if I would have you know I would be buying my first telescope for the first time I would go for this one uh, but considering the design it, it's uh, mounted on a altazimuth mount a tripod a steel tripod but if somebody who doesn't have that much of storage uh, available uh, there is another option which we can look at that is called as a tabletop but this is you know pretty small uh, but it's easy to use it, it, you can carry it anywhere like into a park or anywhere where you can find a stable bench or a concrete base where you can you know, put it up and set the thing and uh, start with the, uh, doing the stargazing session but uh, will this be my first telescope uh, as an adult I, I won't uh, if it's something which you want to buy it for your kids uh, I would recommend yes why not uh, definitely a, a good buy a good purchase mm, look at the the amount on the website uh, it's $129 but when I jumped on to the uh, uh, to Amazon in Australia I'm looking at the same product same thing damn $43 that's it first scope it says $43 but bear in mind there is no finder scope or a red dot finder on this telescope right now so which means you are not sure where you are pointing uh, which star you're pointing in in, in the night sky and for the first time users it will be a bit of a challenge all right so that's why so that's a catch but definitely these um, red dot find finders or finder scopes are uh, pretty simple uh, so you are pretty cheap to buy if you want to purchase it separately you can do that it's uh, available on Amazon itself you can uh, buy them for like 25 30 35 dollars so overall package will then become like $900 somewhere. Uh, that's that's where I was referring to that the telescopes can range between $99 to a couple of hundred dollars or thousands of dollars as well. So this is another design which I would recommend if you're buying it for your for your, for your kids. Uh, definitely something which you should look at. Only $43 on Amazon right now. Uh, while I make this video uh, later I don't know so don't quote me for the price this video is not sponsored by anyone or a Celestron this is just my own experience because I already own a Celestron 114 EQ and I know how difficult it was for me to buy my first telescope when I purchased it how difficult it was to make that decision which one I should go but to be honest the reflector design are the best is what I can say but Refractors are also doing great and the one refractor which Celestron has uh, you know, in the design or this particular Star Sense Explorer batch this, mo this model has got a very very amazing refractor so this one is a 70 AZ which, which means it's a 70 mm of the aperture which is the, the primary objective mirror uh, sorry glass of this particular design which is 70 mm and the focal length is 700 mm which is 300 mm lesser than the 114 uh, which we looked at the LT114 this one so this is a reflector and the one which we're looking at right now this one is a refractor design uh, if you're asking me what is the difference between both of them I would say there's barely any difference when you're looking at the stars and the things uh, definitely one thing which will stand out that the images of the reflector designs uh, does not have color fringing which means uh, you know chromatic aberration because in a reflector design when the light passes through the glass it tends to land on a different wavelength uh, which might not end up on the 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 mirror or the eyepiece you know so you might see a bit of a hello like a blue circle around the moon 
or any of the stars which you're looking at uh, that is something we, i'm not particularly I've, i'm not personally used this particular product so i'm not sure but that is something which i know because i also have another telescope out there uh, if you can see oh yeah that one this one so this is a william optics triplet design telescope that's a refractor design and the reason why i'm saying chromatic aberration i had a small telescope earlier which uh, i used to do the astrophotography which was pathetic honestly that was pathetic it had got blue circles on each and every stars also on the moon so reflectors is what i love my personal uh, choice is reflector if you ask for my opinion i would recommend you the reflect uh, reflector Mm, uh, which is not this design this is a refractor which means the light passes through this uh, tunnel the light light train and reaches the eyepiece but I believe uh, if it's a doublet and uh, chromatic aberration free then you might not see that but I'm not sure about it you will have to research for yourself mm, so this is what I would recommend in a reflector uh, if you are a first scope buyer and if, if you don't have that uh, much of a budget 399 then something of, of this sort or uh, something of this sort which is 299 again gonna do the same thing right uh, if you don't if you're not happy with that as well there is another option uh, 114 EQ which is standing right behind me it's the same thing same aperture 114 that one is also 114 but this one will not have the mobile function the, the feature of the mobile phone holder and the application of star cells which i would recommend you should so it's an expensive hobby all right this hobby is not that easy because if you want to look at the telescopes there are plenty of telescopes out there you, you see you will be amazed that there are telescopes for 40 50 dollars as well right but is it gonna do justice to that hobby no so I won't recommend you that you see $115 but these glasses are not actual you know chromatic aberration free glasses that's the problem so you will it will just you know spoil the mood <laughs> so that's what I'm saying uh, it's totally up to you uh, I just wanted to recommend you the telescopes which i feel would be better for a first time buyer is what i've recommended uh, this one for a kid if you want to buy it for your for your child as a birthday present definitely go for it but you should know how to use it uh, i have a, 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 a video on my channel for the celestron 114 eq the unboxing setting up and how to culminate or how to uh, align the finder scope along with the eyepiece that's what I've already uh, you know uploaded onto my channel if you want to have a look at that look at that uh, if you have any other question uh, related to purchasing the telescope uh, please let me know on the comments and I'll be more than happy to help you understand and get the right uh, right thing okay so this is where I would uh, love to take a leave you all have a wonderful day ahead and wish you the best with your new telescope and wish you all clear skies cheers peace out